so as i said earlier whenever you do any maintenance in uh, main air compressor always put the compressor to manual activate emergency stop turn off the breaker and hanger do not start posture so this is what uh, we had done so in our last video you must have seen how we can uh, clean the cooler from inside and in this video i am just uh, showing how to take the cooler out from compressor clean and then fit it back inside the compressor so that is the idea of uh, posting this video so this all content you must have seen in my last video just open the cover before that uh, close the water inlet outlet drain the water all those uh, procedures you have to follow and then we have to if you want you can remove the cooler outside if you feel like the maintenance has been not done long time if not you just procedure the protocol as per the maintenance schedule which is given in the manual so we had removed all the cover and everything so now uh, cooler is getting ready to open so first thing what you need to do is you have to remove the o-ring on both the side of the cooler so you can see the o-ring on both the side here also you can see the o-ring you can see the black color one so first remove it keep it safely do not damage it and open the remove the gasket on the other side also means go ring on the other side also uh, if you are facing trouble just use a screwdriver and take it out and uh, just check the condition of the o-ring if it is okay use it back if not change it not an issue so next thing is how we are going to take the cooler out you just push from one side and uh, you can see the cooler is been protruded out so you have to take it out very carefully so that the flange edge should not damage the tubes because these tubes are copper tubes you can see uh, a lot of sludge which is accumulated over the tubes so take it out very nicely easily do not force anything just little shake will get it out immerse the entire uh, unit inside the water you can see the condition of the cooler a uh, lot of sludge which is also a reason for the cooler efficiency drop one is the cooler inside because of the coke deposit the heat transfer is been restricted and the other thing is cooler outside where the tubes are surrounded with sludge which is because either because of your uh, bad cooling water treatment or improper maintenance of your cooler so this is what uh, we are doing now so first thing is uh, use the soap water take out all the sludge which is accumulated on over the tube just take a uh, rags clean rags and remove it same like how we are washing our uh, utensils but only one thing which you need to keep it in mind is do not damage the tubes and this is the tube casing cooler casing and you can see a lot of sludge which is uh, accumulated inside the uh, inside the casing you can see yeah you can see we are just immersing uh, inserting our hand inside the casing and uh, i will just show how much sludge is uh, accumulated here this is the sludge which is accumulated so like uh, it is always preferable to do this kind of uh, things manually because so that uh, we can take maximum amount of impurities out and when boxing up it will be a very cooler and efficiency of cooling will be very nice and uh, just remove whatever sludge you can remove with the help of hand and then you can use brush to remove all the sludge so you can see the condition is very bad you can see the amount of sludge which is accumulated so this is not a small quantity this is really a very big quantity which affects the which affects the 
efficiency of cooler so we are doing that cleaning with the help of rags and cleaning with the help of wire brush so all these things are there so we are just cleaning cleaning in the soap water with the manually so again uh, you can clean the tubes also it will be more uh, what do you say uh, easy to do that because cooler is outside so you can do it easily so again uh, we are removing the sludge see the sludge condition uh, this is the indication of poor cooling water treatment this will leads to cooling water tube getting damaged very soon so uh, that is the reason uh, that we need to keep the cooling water uh, in a very good way cooling water chemical treatment to, should be done in a proper way so yes now we are using the brush clean it this uh, cooling cooler cleaning is a long time taking job and also long time means it will take hardly 3 to 4 hours and you have to do it very very precisely because if any small hit on the tubes will leads to a cooler tubes damage so after cleaning now we are going to box up so for boxing up you have to just uh, apply grease on the cooler surface and also over the o-rings the same thing should be done on both the end both the side should be greased and uh, all the threads should be applied with proper anti seizure compound Okay, so now we are going to box up. Before fitting the cooler in place, ensure there is no rags, nothing is kept inside. That is the most important thing that we need to check before fitting it. Yes, so now we are going to fit the cooler, and uh, cooler should be inserted very uh, properly because uh, main thing is the flange edge should not hit the cooler tubes and give you a coat of uh, greasing so it will be helping for uh, easy fit up of cooler in place now we are going to fit it So yeah, okay, very slowly do it, do not uh, make any hurry burry because uh, even a small mistake, small hit can damage the cooler tubes. So now we are doing this, it has to directly come on the other side, other edge of the flange. Just uh, make sure you are fitting it properly and you have to align the cooler properly for the opposite side okay still the other side of the this thing is not properly aligned so just take a small rod and take it towards you now it is already coming towards your side okay so we are done with fit up of cooler next thing is you have to fit the o-ring both the side o-ring should be in place that is a very very important thing that we need to keep it in mind while boxing up 
coolers because once you missed fitting of this o-ring then the water will start leaking and again it will be a second job so both the side o-ring should be in place proper greasing should be done so once the greasing is done uh, we are ready to fix the cover so this is how we have to remove the cooler from compressor and fit refit the cooler back in place after cleaning so we are fitting the cover in place and as usual tighten it properly use uh, proper uh, torque tightening uh, torque tightening value to tighten it you can get the torque tightening values from the manual i believe this video must have given you some valuable information about how to clean coolers in main air compressor if you have any doubt please uh, comment in comment box i will definitely reply you keep supporting thanks for watching